What you see is a small induction motor pulled out of a water pick toothbrush accessory. And I want to take this short video to demonstrate and illustrate how a induction motor works. This is a single phase shaded pull induction motor. I'm going to pull it apart piece by piece. All the screws have been taken out so things are basically held together by friction and by gravity. First thing I'm going to remove is this bracket which has a bearing assembly for the top of the rotor. Then I'm going to remove the stator assembly, the stator coil. Next, I'm going to remove the rotor itself. The rotor simply sits on a lubricated shaft. Now the rotor, as you can see, is nothing special. It's simply a, uh, a drum made of aluminum with iron bars inside. The iron bars provide magnetic continuity from one side of the rotor to the other. But the aluminum is really what makes this thing work. The aluminum acts as a conductor for electricity as the rotating magnetic field goes around the rotor. It induces eddy currents in the aluminum and according to Lenz's law, those eddy currents work in such a way they try to minimize the motion or the change in magnetic field. The way it does that, it produces a torque on the rotor, causing the rotor to spin in the same direction as the rotating magnetic field. It never quite gets up to the same speed as the rotating magnetic field, but it approaches that speed. The way the field is made is with the stator assembly. The stator assembly right here is nothing more than a single coil of wire energized by a single phase 120 volt AC from a standard wall socket. And as you can see, I'll set this in place here, the single phase coil is enclosed in this white plastic uh, casing and the magnetic field from that coil flows through this pole assembly. So these two poles right here, this and this, alternate north and south, south and north, back and forth as the 60 cycle AC reverses polarity back and forth. Now by itself, that really doesn't create a rotating magnetic field. It simply creates an oscillating magnetic field. So what they've done in this case is they've connected a couple of copper coils here and here, looping around sections of the magnetic poles. Those copper coils will have eddy currents induced in them. And the inductive effect of the currents of those coils acts to delay the onset of the magnetic field in that corner and in that corner. So as a result, you have a retarded or lagging magnetic field in those quarters, which means that it gives the overall impression of a field that's rotating in one direction instead of uh, just oscillating back and forth. So I'm going to drop this rotor in place. And again, to show you, this rotor has no wires on it, no brushes, no commutator. It's just a, a drum of aluminum with some iron bars. That simply fits inside. There's no touching parts. I'm now going to set the top bearing assembly in. That holds it in place better. And now I'm going to turn the power switch on. And it spins. That's a very simple induction motor, single phase.